quite happy with that so far now. Just that bit that needs doing. <clears throat> Just add a little bit there and a little bit under there. Next, <clears throat> let's go straight into this red that's here as well, and we'll put that red on this. Just a few little spots on this belt strap, whatever you want to call it. The same on this side, we're going to use this as the highlight for it. There we are. And we can also use some on here as well. And now, here I'm going to use the red. along this little pat this line here and this line underneath there we go and you can also have some along this line and that line there nice next step we'll go with this fire lizard and that will be the little tassels at the bottom of the sash I'm not being too specific with this I'm just running it over kind of a dry brush sort of thing <coughs> Now, <clears throat> let's get on to, I know what I've not done with the skin tone, this hand, There we go, we just add a few little mat patches of this on and then we'll just run over the knuckles on this side. Just like that, that should be fine. Okay, happy with that. Next. Uh, we want to highlight the metal areas. Um, now what I'm going to do is what I did for the... No, I'm not. No, I'm not, because I think I have one that would work instead. Yeah, I just realised why I couldn't find it. It's because I've not been using these colours because they're airbrush colours, but it's Vallejo and it's gunmetal. I could mix it using uh, 
a couple of other paints but let's just get in with it and we'll just paint we'll just paint the axe head in this colour just like so and this one as well happy with that and I don't want that for the next bit I want a brighter colour and that brighter colour will be shining silver there is a paint I have actually lost and I don't know where it is um, plate mail metal that was a that's an army painter paint and I cannot for the life of me see it anywhere. So that's the one I was looking for. But can't find it, so I can't use it. Wonder where it's gone. Hmm, weird. Okay, we'll go with this. And we're just gonna go and add a couple of couple of little smudges of this here and there along the top of the um, sleeves. Oh, I don't know what's up with me today but I can't get my mouth, can't get my brain in gear to speak. <laughs> Let us now back to the skin toes. Let's move this across. I will go in with the paler skin which is the amber skin. And there we are. We'll just put some of this on our palette and have to have a sort out and even get on my paints together. I think I've got them all scattered about here and there and that's not helping matters when I'm trying to organise things and paint because I can't bloody find them. <laughs> okay so we'll just add some little Um, marks with this paint and as you can see I'm not just staying where I've painted before and I'm trying to get rid of this stripy trouser look that we seem to have ended up with so by doing it like this hopefully I am helping to dispel that not going to plan. Oh well. Never mind. Let's just go across the back of the thigh here. I think I might go over with a, a light would wash with this a 
and hopefully that might help matters. Because it is looking a bit patchy and I don't know why because I've done it exactly the same way. Okay I've done a slightly different technique and it's supposed to be much smoother. I've done it exactly the same way as I usually do but for some reason it's not coming out as well as it normally does. Never mind. And just keep adding little bits of this here and there. In the hopes that it will actually all come out right in the wash, as they say. to do is just make sure on the think I need a bit of a, a wash, a pale wash to go over these. I'm not looking as I would have expected. So, let's give that a couple of seconds to dry and we can go in with another colour. What colour should we go in with? Uh, let's go with... Uh, let's go with Treant Green. This is just a little step that we're going to be using. So we're not going a great deal with this. There's not a lot we're going to want to do with this colour. This is just literally a, a colour that we're just going to add little marks to this with. just to make some indication of something other than it being one solid colour. So, I think that paint's done. I'm going to go over it with a soft skin wash. I'm going to go with the soft skin wash. I'm putting the skin wash. I'm putting the wash on the wet palette. Hopefully, I'm dampen it down a touch. I'm just wondering if I use the wrong shade of wash to start off with. Let's see. See how it goes. I 
I don't think I'm going to do this justice, I'm afraid. I think I may have to re-establish all the skin tone, the darker skin tone, and come back and try to keep going with it. But we will see. We will see. Not too happy with the legs at all. I may just repaint over the legs. I'm going to come in as well with a flesh wash. I'm not sure what good this is going to do. I'm just going to do a few touch ups here and there with it. Make sure his face gets some as well. And his hands. There we are. We'll see how that dries. See what happens. <clears throat> but obviously, while we're waiting, we can get some of the mahogany on the go and go around the rim of the base. Give it that this first coat. And then we'll and then we'll leave it to dry. And then see how it is once it is dried and if need be. And repaint and recover the legs. And try them again. Hopefully. It'll be okay now. Who knows? But anyway, that's it so far until it dries. So we will come back and have a look when it's not so, when the thing is not so wet. The um, Well, what you call it. I'll come back and have a look when the uh, wash is dried and see how we go. And by then, I may be able to learn, I may have been able to learn to speak. Who knows? Right, we're back, and as you can see, um, I've put the um, sand on the base, so it's just ready for painting now. So once that's painted, I can do the varnishing. But yeah, I'm happy with the way it looks now after I've put that wash on. It seems to have tied it all in. It's still not ideal, still not perfect, but it will do the job. So that's it for this video. Um, before, I before I go, I want to again thank Andy from Wigan War Games for letting me use his minis for these videos. And also I want to thank um, the Emmy Painter for sponsoring the videos by sending me the uh, Army Painters um, Metallic Colours paint set. So that's 
all really that we have to say. I'm leaving this bit white because it looks, I quite like the look of it to be honest. Hmm. One thing I can do though, I've just noticed, which I hadn't noticed before, um, if I get, if I can find that very fine brush I have, which, there we are, let's see if I can get this to a nice decent point, we can use um, some of the Azure Magic, give it a good shake. Because I've just seen somewhere that we might be able to use it on. Just a little bit. We don't need much for this. And we will add this. Oops, I need to get this brush into a very fine point because we have a little bit of metal here. It needs doing. Don't do. Happy with that. Okay, so there we are. That's Verga, or whatever his name done. All that remains is for me to say, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now. <laughs>